Nice! Hey YouTubers, Grummy Dragon here, and this is the video review for Bandai's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Legacy Series, Titanus. Yep, earlier in the year, Bandai has released the last piece of the Mighty Morphin Ultra Zord. And it is a nice piece for, I got to tell you, um, this is a very big Brachiosaurus. Well decorated, looks great. As you can see, he's huge. Um, the comparison here will bring in well, Ty or Deluxe Chromia. You just can see how my avatar figure looks against it. Okay. And then we'll bring in... We'll bring in Deluxe Crasher. Yeah, Titanus is a fairly big... Brachiosaurus robot. Looks great. Um, yeah, this is a like a complete remake of the original Titanus. So it's actually all new sculpt, all new tooling. But the paint job and the tooling are wonderful, and this is as show accurate as you can get. Need this. As you can see, it does have that rolling feature. And, uh, it's supposed to be able to. Ooh, I see why. There we go. There we go. Rolls a lot better now. Paw wasn't in right, so as you can see, it rolls well. It has the uh, moving front legs that the original had, but it doesn't have any of the electronics, so it cannot move on its own. Which is sad, but being a nice collector's piece, I'd say it's not going to be heavily missed. At least, not by me. Um. You know, obviously this is more of a tank than uh, an actual posable figure, so it's not going to have a lot of articulation, except in the neck, where you have um, some forward-backward movement here. And each segment is actually on its own ball joint. So that neck has a nice wide range of movement. You can get him looking left or right, up or down, and just roll that neck all around. And he has a nice opening and closing jaw. Let's see if we can zoom into that a bit. Oh so yeah, there's an articulated jaw. Huge amount of neck rotation. But uh, that's the only place that has any articulation at all. The rest is pretty much a big tank. Got some nice uh, rubber wheels though. So he's got great traction. No matter what surface he's on. Now, for more appropriate um, comparisons. Let's bring in the other um, Zords from the line. Well, that go with it. You got the Megazord. And then you got Dragon Zord. As you can see, Titanus scales pretty well with them. They're all nice and big and clunky and <laughs> wonderful. Dragon's old back where 
it's not going to be in the way. Another nice thing is it actually came with an improvement for the Megazord, which is these little, let's see, these little uh, knee braces. Now you can just uh, plug right onto the Megazord knees, and this will actually offer a lot more stability when you have the Dragon Zord on the Megazord into Mega Dragon Zord mode. And it will definitely be required when you have the Ultra Zord configuration going. But, uh, speaking. Well, before we get into that, you know, don't want to get too far ahead of myself. There is one more very important comparison we need to make. I just hope I have enough room to make it. Because this is going to require a lot. This comparison is with none other than the Vintage Titanus. Uh, yeah. Okay. And yeah, it's next to impossible to get these guys both in frame. You got my lights viewable now. Uh, boy. Yeah, um... Vintage Titanus is still much bigger than the, uh... Legacy version. Of course, this had to hold a bigger Megazord, so that's understandable. And yeah, I can't even get it all in frame here. But yeah, this is gigantic. We can also see that there is a lot more paint or details on the Legacy Titanus compared to the vintage version like the legacy one has all those hieroglyphics like all the details on the chest plate whereas this one has M's and lightning bolts and just black with gold trim so yeah, Titan like the Legacy Titanus definitely has the vintage one beaten deco. Of course, Repro labels can get this guy looking pretty good too. And the vintage one does have the uh, electronic uh, movement capabilities. Okay, before we get into the next phase, let me take a good look at that paint job though. Because it is amazing. I mean, look at all those hieroglyphics all over him. And it's nice gold paint. You've got that red detailing in there. You've got the Green Ranger symbol. I mean, all over. This thing is decked out beautifully. Every little detail painted in. That is just gorgeous. Even the neck has a lot of those hieroglyphics on it. That is impressive. And the head, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, enough gushing over Titanus's look. Let's get the Zords combined and get this Ultra Zord ready to go. Okay, and now we have the Ultra Zord all together. And this is very impressive looking. I will say that much. Uh, the look is down pat, looks great. I do like it. And what I didn't get into when I was talking about Titanus alone is that he, like the others, is loaded with die cast. 
Um, these guns have a lot of die cast in them. Um, like it's mostly plastic. I think the tips are just the parts that are die cast. Um, this chest piece has a lot of die cast in it. The paws have uh, die cast on those uh, gold bits. I can't remember offhand if there are any other die cast parts on him. Uh, yeah, the back toes I think are die cast. Maybe not. I'm, it's hard to say. But um, yeah, a lot of the die cast actually does go onto the Megazord. You know, old weak knees here. Um, which is why I'm really glad they came with those bracers. Because otherwise, this guy would not be able to stand on his own power. I mean, with all this die cast weighing him down, putting pressure on those very weak knee connections. I mean, you saw how with the Dragon Zord, Mega Dragon Zord, this thing just toppled over with a tap. Um. It's worse now that you got these three parts on him. Because without the bracers, he will just fall over once once you're trying to stand him up. So yeah, that's something to work um look out for. Um you know, all in all the Dragon Zord and Titanus do make the Megazord look pretty uh Sad. I mean, the display is awesome. Don't get me wrong. The display is awesome, but... When you look at quality for each individual piece... The Megazord really suffers the most from being the older mold. I mean, it's a 2010 mold. The Dragonzord and Titanus are far more recent. Look in the look around at the Ultra Zord. Yeah, you can see the Dragon Zord's tail really makes a difference. Make it makes the Titanus figure look like he still has a tail. Um, these guns have a new way of more secure way of storing. They just uh, plug in and then slide into place, locking them in, which is great. Again, the tank rolls and the guns move as it rolls. No lights or sounds from that the vintage toys had, but other than that, yeah, it's this is definitely an improvement. But we should still get a comparison with the older version if I can fit it all into frame. So We'll start by getting Titanus himself in here. Okay. And then we'll plop the Megazord into it. And yeah, I'm doing it like this because uh, in, I in either version, the Megazord does not lock into place. It just sits on this uh, chariot piece, so there's no secure locking in, so yeah, that might be a bit of a downer, but you know, that's a trait that both of them share. It's not like you're going to have this guy flying around, I mean, heck, this thing is too heavy to... Just pick up and try to fly around on its own. I mean, when moving these guys, take the Megazord out first. Move Titanus, put the Megazord back in. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier, especially with the Legacy version, because if you try to lift that thing all together, it's going to weigh a ton. Because this, this has a lot of weight to it. This guy's a little lighter. Might be possible to just pick him up and move him. 
I didn't really want to chance it, but you know, that's just me. I can tell that this is not fully in frame. See, there we go. That looks a little better. Yeah, you can see that these guys are huge. Uh, my little stage is not big enough to accommodate two of them. So I probably should have got the bigger stage ready for this, but uh, I didn't. But yeah, I mean, Legacy Megazord, I mean, Legacy Ultra Zord is awesome. Um, if you have the Legacy Megazord and the Legacy Dragon Zord, get Legacy Titanus. Uh, if it's still available, uh, you won't find them at Toys R Us anymore. I think he's sold out there. But you can check online. If you can get them at a decent price, I'd say go for them. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Please leave a like, leave a comment, uh, subscribe to my channel to see more videos, and share with your friends. If you know someone who likes these kind of videos, share them, please. And I will see you guys in the next review. Take care, so long, have fun. And bye-bye.